I want to just... She oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I didn't realize there were any bees in it! <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Legacy SMP. Thank you all for the love and support on the first episode. You all seem excited about it. I'm excited to continue this series. I'm really enjoying sort of challenging myself and doing stuff outside my comfort zone. And also just like powerhousing this series. I want to like do so much in each episode. Speaking of which, I want to build a greenhouse. These little crops down here are just not doing it for me anymore and I want to incorporate the bees because the bees are the new thing. So I've collected a bunch of resources and I've come up with a greenhouse design and I'm going to go and do that so we will insert the time lapse now. <laughs> We have our little greenhouse here looking super cute. I very much enjoy it. We have some wheat already growing, which I can just break at the moment. And this does work on its own like this, but the plan is going to be making some beehives, putting them along the back, and then getting some bees into here. Now to make a beehive, I need honeycomb. And to get honeycomb, I need bees. So you can see where my predicament comes into. Oh, what's this? You smell. Well, that's just rude. 
So the issue I currently have is that I don't have any bees and I feel like a lot of the bees in the surrounding area have been taken to be part of the church. So what that means is I'm going to need to go quite far out to get any bees. Now I want to take my leads and basically try and find some bees and bring them with me. I also want to grab my shears so that I can hopefully shear some. Not the bees, the, the hives to get honeycomb to be able to make my own. Now I'm going to need to like put the llamas into somewhere at the moment just so that I can get the leads off of them. It's not going to be pretty but it's going to exist. Okay you and you come in here. Perfect. Now give me your leads. Okay two llamas sorted. The other two I'll just leave at the moment. And now begins the journey of attempting to find some bees. Now I think, and think is a strong word, that I've seen some over that way. But I just need to find it. I also did put down a campfire over here for a beehive. I think the bees are gone. So I'm going to try break this and see if I can get it back. I can't. Can I take that? No. Right. I've just destroyed that and I can't take it. Okay. Yeah, there's a flower field over here. And I'm hoping that will have a couple bees I can sort of bring back. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a build I can finish like instantly. And I do not have silk touch at the moment, so I can't just take their hives already, which I am sad about. Hello, Mr. Bee. There is another flower field bit over here, so I'm going to run over. The issue is like anything close to spawn may have already been taken. And the idea of trying to transport a bee further away back here sounds awful honestly. I'm just like looking to see if I see anything move but I don't. It also looks like it's becoming night time and I'm hoping someone will be able to sleep. I'm just shearing any white sheep I see on my way because I will inevitably need wool for something. Plus it's nice to know that there are a bunch of sheep out here because I will need them for my automatic sheep farm. I'm like partially hoping I don't find a bee now because I'm very far away. I think I found a new village. What's that? Is that a village house? Since when were they two stories? Hello? These villagers out here living life to the fullest? There's one with some double doors. Someone has definitely already been here because all the chests are gone and there doesn't seem to be any workstations so I think all of the villagers don't have jobs. <gasps> a bee! Where is your home? Aha! I want to just... She oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I didn't realize there were any bees in it! Oh they so mad! Oh, you still mad. I'm still poisoned for five more seconds. I'm sorry. Is he still coming for me? He's still coming for me. Oh my goodness. Do not come for me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my God. I didn't even get the honeycomb. Like I'm going to need to circle back around for you, son. Okay, you're not mad anymore. That's fine. Okay. I want to go back, see if the honeycomb dropped. And then I need to try and lead two of you back to my house. Which as of right now is quite far away. Aha, the honeycomb did drop. Hi bud, you're coming with me. I just want to see if I can find your friend. I don't know where your friend went. There's a cat, but that's not what I want. If I need to work with one bee, I will work with one bee. Yeah, but it looks like we're going back with one bee. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that just happened. I want to have an empty hand so I can see if the lead breaks easier. Oh, I dropped the lead, I dropped the lead. Right, you're almost home. We'll get back, I will make you a beehive, we'll put you in the greenhouse which looks amazing, you'll love it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop you on this for now while I run in and make you the beehive. I just need some wood, I do this, this and this and then I have a beehive and then I'll pop you on a lead and bring you down into the here. There we go, and I'll pop that down there and take you off. Now you can just go about your day pollinating and then go back to that. I do actually want to make, I kind of want to make some slabs just to cover the currently open flames so that he doesn't fly into it and I don't drop anything in it. No, bud, look, look come over here. There's one right there. I know you have a home or you had one but new home is right there. Nope, I think he's realised now. Nope, he still wants out. You'll learn to love it, I'm sure. 
So, mission B has been a success. We now have a functioning greenhouse as long as he actually goes into his beehive. I do not know if he will or not. I guess we will find out. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to head over to my spider spawner and do my best to attempt to turn it into a functioning XP grinder. It will be great, but it'll be there, which is all that matters. So I'm currently on an expedition with this spider spawner that we've seen earlier, and I'm attempting to make a spider spawner room. It's proving very dangerous. They keep occasionally spawning, but this is my progress so far. I'm just following along with the tutorial. So I've dug out like a nine by nine room. I have water here and they're going to flow in here, or so I'm being told by this tutorial. The tutorial is by Kid Alu. It's the Minecraft cave XP farm and it seems to be going well so far. I'm not looking for time to break these torches because this is also in the middle of a mineshaft. So there's 101 other mobs around here, which is terrifying. But that's what I'm doing at the moment. We just need to hope I can do it without dying. So after about 20 minutes following a tutorial, I present to you my working spider farm. So I can just stand here and kill spiders like so and they will drop all their stuff. I can walk forward, get the XP, and it will fall into one of three chests. They seem to really like this side, I don't know why. But look, there they go. They just come all the way in. There's probably more efficient ways for this to happen. Um, they definitely, I could set it so that they take damage beforehand and such, but this was a nice, simple, easy way for me to do it without having to do too much. I know I could probably in the future replace the block behind this one, behind the hopper, maybe with uh, magma blocks so that they take a little bit of damage on their way here. But at the moment I don't mind going through a couple swords just to get some experience and some string and such. But I'm excited. I've got a farm. So the server has a sort of mini game ongoing at the moment where you kind of put your name into a dispenser and it's kind of putting you on a hit list, which sounds fun. So I want to head there and add myself to the hit list and also see what it actually entails. Now there are some ruins that I need to find. Those. It's called the Stinger. So I just need to head over there and actually have a look. Okay. Welcome to Stinger. More info below. Throw your name in here, read below. Okay. Oh, there's a lot happening. Armor for this person stinging. Sword must be used when stinging. Pick your loot here while hunting. Name piece of paper, drop it in. Okay. Okay, there's a lecture in here. Let's give it a read. Welcome to the stinger, the game where you're getting stung or being the stinger. Turn over for rules. Number one, to enter the game, you put your name on a paper in the hopper. Number two, inside the barrel, a name will be displayed. This player is the target of the stinger. Number three, to become the stinger, you put all your stuff in the chest and equip given armor and weapon. Number four, you can now hunt down the target and try to kill them. Number five, if the stinger kills the target, the target owes the stinger a favor. Number six, if the target kills the stinger in defense, the stinger lost and must give up. Seven, the stinger owes the target one diamond if they get killed by them. And we just jumped to nine for some reason. If you see your name as the target, you can remove it with the button. And number 10 is no AFK killing. Number 11, please provide a chest to put potential items in so they do not despawn. Okay, so I have to rename a bit of paper. We'll put Smajor, throw name here. Okay, I've thrown it. And then, what am I gonna do if I wanted to do this? Oh, tenor, inside the barrel, a name will be displayed. This player is the target for the stinger. So I would click that if I wanted to do it. I don't wanna do it yet. But I'm just putting my name in so that other people can try and kill me. Because I'm quite geared at the moment. So I like my chances. So the other night while I was streaming, I was talking about how I needed fuel for like my cactus farm over here, which I'm assuming has run out. And the best fuel that I could think of that was easy to get rather than coal was going to be bamboo. Because it grows very quickly and it's easy to make. So I made this contraption. Now this is a zero tick bamboo farm. So if I come over here and turn it on, you can see what it does is it replaces that dirt block 
with another one very, very fast at zero ticks. So what happens is the bamboo keeps growing and pushing the bamboo into this hopper, which goes into this chest. Now it's not very pretty, but it functions. I will eventually put it in a building of some sort and just tidy up a little bit. But when I tell you I had a mental breakdown trying to build this thing, I had a mental breakdown. But it works because the other thing I wanted to do was improve my furnaces a little bit. You know, just make them a little bit better. So if we come down here, you can see I have this wall. Now this might just look like five normal furnaces. But if I open here, I can put something in this. We'll just put a bone for now. It won't actually smelt it. And then in here, the bone goes. And as you can see, there is bamboo. So each of these furnaces has a hopper at the back connected with a bunch of bamboo that is designed to basically continuously smelt. So all I do is fill the top here with like, I could put some raw meat in that one, some ores in that one, and it will just churn through them until obviously they're complete. So it's not super automated, but it's a step up from me just hand placing everything. And I think what I might do is put a wall here and then put my chests on this side. That's what I'm thinking of changing to, just as a way to give myself more space. Because although up here it's cute having everything, every time I want something from a chest, I'm to climb all the way up here is a pain. One other thing I'm wanting to do today is I want to grab, you know, I'll just grab some diorite and some signs. And we're gonna head north. We're gonna head all the way over here because the point of this series is obviously building in different areas and different styles and sort of expanding the world. And at the moment we're in the medieval area, which I'm not gonna be leaving for a while, probably another couple episodes because I have still so much I need to do. I need to like properly path up and connect and such and just make it look a lot nicer and there's still so much automated stuff I actually need to complete and figure out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head north to the fantasy section because the fantasy section is a little bit more up my street. It's a little bit more what I do and what I'm used to building and with fantasy, you can kind of do whatever you want. So we're gonna head up here and claim an area is mine. I had a little look around on the map and on my cam account to sort of find an area that I liked. And I think fantasy is where I'm going to settle as my like home, home base, like my big base. So we're obviously gonna take a while before we're ever like fully living here. And my plan is that I will go to the other biomes and other places and build things and such. But I wanted one place that is going to be my place. A lot of the other players are starting to look at doing that as well, going into sort of like either the steampunk area, the treehouse area, the cyberpunk area, people are really starting to look at going to their own places. And the place I found that I like for my fantasy house is this. I think this is super cute. I've got a nice open flat area, so I don't need to do too much terraforming. And then I have these sort of mountains that I can build into and add things to. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to build yet, but I just know I wanted to claim a big area. So I'm gonna just put this down, pop a sign on, and I've put Smajor's Fantasy area, and now I'm just going to kind of like cordon off a big section. I'd rather claim a lot of land and not have anyone live too close than not claim enough and then someone builds into an area that I could have wanted. Now my hope is that I will maybe be able to convince Catherine to also come and live up here. Because Fantasy is also up Catherine Street and kind of what she does. So this will hopefully give people the idea that I'm building here. Obviously no one will build right in front of me. And I'm thinking it could be really cool to build up, I don't know, maybe like a kingdom or something. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to do a lot of like research and other sort of like fantasy-esque builds and such. Because it's such a broad topic, it means that I can kind of do whatever I want. Same as researching, there's going to be a lot. But I think this is a good place to sort of claim for our future actual base. And I'm hoping I can eventually figure out some even more automated farms and such for that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Legacy SMP. You all smashed the 3000 like button goal last time. So let's try it again. Let's even get another 3000 for this episode. But let me know some fantasy ideas you have for what I can build for my future base. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video, and I will see you all next time. Bye.